seem more like Captain Albert Tertucci here. All right, so what he wants to do is put about 150 yards of 130 pound test on top of the 100 pound test, which is a great thing because once you fight in a shark and he starts going left to right, right over the sandbar, it'll add for more abrasion resistance. So it'll be, it'll increase his chances to land the shark by getting cut off. 100 pound is great, but it's, I wouldn't recommend it too much against the sandbar fighting. So what we're gonna do, since he actually has two squalls, instead of me guessing on how much braid he can have left, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download his other spool completely empty, put 150 yards of the 130 on, and then spool it up with the 100 pound test, fill it up to where we want, and then cut it, and then you know flip it the way I normally have to do. But I have to do it this way, because right now I'll be taking a guess, and I don't like guessing, especially when we're cutting expensive line. So that's our plan for this video. <clears throat> the same amount but let me find out how much is on here so I'm gonna have to fully spool it on there get a line count say say it is 600 yards but then we'll down spool down spool it again and re spool it stop at 300 then spool that all the way back on it so that way we can split this up into uh, we got 1550 so the 775 yards per reel we should be able to get and then the rest will be the 130 actually that's what we'll do we'll down spool it all put 775 that way you got 100 and 100 of 775 and then the rest top shot is 130 yeah we'll do that okay change the game plan this is <laughs> since he's got 1550 yards of the 100 pound to divide it up into the two reels i'm going to split that to the two reels, so it's the backing and then top shot it with the rest with 100, the 130 pound test. So that way he's got equal amounts of line on both rails. So that way if one goes down, he's got a secondary. So. So now that I've spooled it up from the center on, on the way out, I've got 460 yards to the first line. I'm going to keep going until I get 770, and that's when I'll cut the line and switch over to the 130. How you doing, boss? Pretty good. How you doing, Albert? Doing all right. What can I do for you? Oh, I just want to talk to you because it like you're busy. Let me look around your shop. Okay, boss. I'll be right with you. I've got 750 yards of line on there. Actually, we're supposed to do 775. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I went 787. So that will leave you. I need to go seven yards backwards. Now, 
now, and I'm at 775. So I should get an even 1550, or 750 yard tier, 750 yard tier, plus the top shot of 130. So I'm just gonna get that cut and reset. All right guys, so I've gone level across the spool housing right here and I added 618 yards of 130. So you got 750 plus 618. But I'm gonna check with him and see if that's okay or does he wanna to top it off some more and we'll go from there. So. Oh, yeah, that was a lot, yeah, a lot of twists. And that one section with it, um, you see it? Yeah. yeah. So, is there a way like to what you call it? Untwist it? Yeah. Do it by hand. Oh no! Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna check. I'm gonna try it some. Right now I found a whole bunch of twists in the braid, but that was braid straight off the spool to your rail, correct? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, I shouldn't have that much twist in that area. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go slow and I'm going to see if I can get it to untwist. And I'll just push the twist toward the end of the line since I'm so close. What causes it to get twisted like that? I would Improper spooling when they're moving it from one spool to the next. Uh -huh. Yeah, improper spooling.
this one alone and fill it up on this one and, but you're sitting at 750 plus 784 which is pretty good pretty good amount of line especially now that you're going to be pretty even I just don't know how much break <coughs> So with the amount of braid he had left over on his other reel, we got 684 yards of 130 on top of 750 yards of 100 pounds. It's a lot of line. Still, for a nice reel, it's going to go. Do the second one, see how close we are on that one, because we don't know how much line is left on the spool of the 130, but we'll find out here real quick. So what you think about? I'm thinking the 130. Because I'm only going to have one. Mm -hmm. I can't do one. And, one. and here's the beautiful thing. You can get cut off and cut off and keep fishing. That reel is probably the equivalent to 550s in the align capacity. Okay. See what I'm saying? <coughs> yeah. It gets cut off, it gets cut off with the 50. You sure. may get a second chance out of it. Other than that, if you lose your match, you're done. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're fishing tournaments, yeah. you need a reel that can take a licking multiple times and you can still keep fishing with it. Granted, most of the time you'll catch those lines back. Tie them up to a bottle. If you haven't, if you already got the reel out and you catch the line back, put it on a bottle or a spool. Just put it on there. We'll we'll figure it out and get it back on, on there later. But yeah. Now if you totally lose the line and stuff like that, that's a good thing about it because all you have to do is come in, we'll re-top shot it and you'll be good to go. You know what I mean? You'll only pay for what you lost. So you're thinking 130? I, I'm really going. Oh, you're talking, I'm talking about 130 pounds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 130 pounds. And then what's the top shot? 200 pounds. How many yards of that? 150. 200. Really? Yeah, that's it. That's it. He's doing more of 130 here because we're trying to divide up the 1,500 yards of 100 pounds he's got to make the two reels equal. You know what I mean? So that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't accidentally grab one thinking it's going to go far, and it's the one with straight 130, and he can only go to the third gut, you know what I mean? So. The only reason I'm hesitating on the 130 size is that based on the price, I can pay a little bit more and get 280s. <laughs> that is and so true. I'm thinking, is it better to have 280s instead of one, 130? That, that's where I'm struggling. Yep, that is something you really got to do. I'd rather 